Hey survivors, my name is Justin aka Cutbus99. I'm the lead level designer of Project Z, our new free-to-play co-op zombie shooter made with Unity. In this devlog series we want to share as much of the development as we can, so let me tell you more about Project Z. Project Z is an atmospheric first-person zombie co-op shooter set in World War II where you get to play different characters who have very different abilities to find out more about the secrets of the German island you all crashed on. With Project Z we want to combine the casual and the hardcore market by implementing a bit of both, which means that we are inspired by Left 4 Dead and Escape from Tarkov. It should offer an interesting story for each character and also tell a great story about the island itself. We think it's time for a co-op game with a bit more tactic and a good understandable story. But the game isn't ending there. Build your hub, recruit and find people to get important things fixed inside your hub, collect building materials and craft better ammo and much much more. We will let you know more about the game's concept in the next months to come. But now, let's go into the devlog. Max, it's your turn. Thanks Justin and hey guys, my name is Max and I'm the lead programmer of Project Z. Since this is the first devlog, the things you will see are the base for creating the game and have been created from scratch. Let's start with the movement. The basics such as sprinting, walking and crouching are there, but we will also allow the player to go prone in order to make less noise. Of course, everything is fully animated. As you might have noticed, there is no visible HUD. This is not because we haven't created it yet, but because there will be minimal HUD in this game in order to make it more immersive. In order to check on your character's state, you can perform actions. For now, there is only the ammo check. Pressing X will initiate an ammo check. Resource management is key in Project Z. Therefore, ammo works with magazines. When reloading, an empty magazine will be discarded and the magazine that still has bullets in it will be added to your inventory. That also means if you reload while having one bullet left in your magazine, you will later load the weapon with that magazine and only have one bullet left to shoot. To encourage stealth gameplay and the use of melee, weapons can actually jam. At the moment it's just randomness based, but the mechanic will be expanded as more features are added into the game. We are also bringing back old school features like leaning and actual recoil. Shooting full auto will really throw your weapon off. Our animator Adin did a great job of working on all the weapon animations you saw in the background with the awesome sound design of Navarro. Our 3D artist Jan also did a great job of working on new props and buildings like a lighthouse, a tunnel, fences, bunkers and more. And a big thanks to Antonio aka Schwappo for creating the new 314 Arts website and the newsletter for Project Z. So guys, that was the first devlog video. Feel free to subscribe to our newsletter and to this channel to get all the information you need. All the links are in the description below, and if you like the soundtrack in the background, check out Spotify, Apple Music, or all the other streaming services. Enjoy the summer, and stay safe.